The Randy Marion Automotive Ford Pace Truck is in. Josh, Barry, Timothy, Peters, and the rest of the field gonna race them off into turn number one. Josh Berry got the initial jump, but Timothy Peters charging hard on the outside. Timothy Peters making the outside work as the field flashes by to complete lap number one. But like we said, Timothy Peters is not giving up. He's keep putting the pressure on Josh. It is a lot of laps to go, but he's making it count. New leader, eight laps into the race. Timothy Peters leads here in the Do the Do 150 at Tri-County Motor Speedway. Lee Pulliam, Justin Carroll, and Pulliam, as you can see on the ticker, falling back from that fifth place starting spot. He's all the way back in seventh right now. Some might call that a surprise. I don't. I think Lee's smart enough. He's been around enough to know you're not going to win this race, especially in segments on lap number 20. 14 till the first break. Green flag in the air. Field makes the way off into turn number one. And to nobody's surprise, Myatt, Timothy Peters out front of Look on the outside. Look who we talked about a few moments ago. Up to second. Dexter Knight Jr. right there behind him, that black 57, Justin Carroll. Okay, Again, there. second place. Knight and McCarty. We keep going back to it. This is why so many fans love Tri-County. Side by side, all the way around the racetrack here. As they work off turn four, this will complete lap number 40. We'll wait for the field to come by, and then we should see the first competition caution of the afternoon. And Timothy Peters has come down pit road. Pits are open, so Timothy Peters has decided to come down pit road. Track. Green flag is out. Bobby McCarty and the five of Dexter Knight Jr. going to lead him off into turn number one. Inside line did not get as good of a jump as I thought it was. The outside line was really rolling on that restart. Look at that. Caution flag over in the outside of turn number one. So no more yellows until the break, right? There'll be reds or blues is what we're told in race control. Guess I'll just have to wave the <laughs> red and green flag at the same time. This is why we love Tri-County. And Maya, as a driver, when you go in that corner like, oh, problems, Josh Berry! Josh Berry up in turn number problems. two! 92 laps to go in the do the do 150. Bobby McCarty once again leads him to green and problems for a moment for Dexter Knipe. Oh, oh, we got problems in turn Big turn two. Big problems. Cody Haskins and Tim uh, Timothy, Peters Timothy Peters. Timothy Peters got spun around. We're starting to see we're starting to see Knipe go backwards. He's been really strong on the outside this whole race, but now he's uh, he's not starting to gain as much ground as he thought. Oh boy, it's getting, getting tight off turn four. And this is just what I was talking about. Deke with his veteran experience. Whoa. Lane Briggs really loose off the corner. Gives Dexter Knife that spot. Sideways contact, and they're still not done yet. And there is Timothy Peters. We haven't touched on that story much, but he now trying to work his way forward. It's taken him this long to get this far up in the field. He's up to 15th for Timothy Peters. Well, the one, the one cool thing we said about Tri-County is that it's... Um, and caution is out into the stage. You know, one thing we love about Tri-County is that it races, that it's really racy everywhere, but it's hard to pass everywhere. 55 laps to go and one competition yellow. The shortest segment of the day is underway, and Ronald Hill spun the tires, just about got in the door of Bobby McCarty. This is where it's all going to pay off for Ronald Hill. I've never seen an old man drive this hard, but I have a feeling he is going to make a thrill out of it all. And already, I'm impressed, Maya. He's been able to stay with Bobby McCarty he's here. Holding, these first he's holding corners. that outside lineup. Down track side to Lenny. Guys, take a look at Cody Haskins' left rear. He's got the right front part of the 99 in it. Take a look at the two. There you see it, right there. Look at that. That two car right there. <laughs> that's what happens when you run these short track races. You get a little bit of contact, and that's just part of the race. That's it. That's I a piece of Lane Riggs' bodywork stuck up in his car. How in the world? Has that kept, what are the chances that happens? It's Lane Riggs, Ronald Hill, our one driver who did not take tires. And Hill at the moment, you know, I give props. He's still in the top 10. That's impressive, but it also to me spells his demise because it also tells me those two tires are not that valuable when he has to put them on under this caution flag. That is true. Everybody's been able to hold their own. 
Still, though, give him mad props for doing what he has done on 120 lap old tires. What a run for Ronald Hill. This time now, caution is out. Segment three is over. Bobby McCarty is the winner of segment number three. Now, 30 laps to go in the Do the Do 150. $10,000 on the line. The intensity is about to pick up. Anybody thought Bobby McCarty was that good today? He just maybe was out front. Now, here's the million dollar question, though. We got problems. problems. Turn two. Justin Johnson has an issue, and that will put us under caution with 26 laps to go. And Cut. problems there you see for Lee Pulliam. The car has not fired, Myatt. Yeah, like I was saying, it could be that the car is running too hot for it to actually crank. Um, you know, much like with Thomas Bean's car, you know, he may just need a push, but it may be something bigger. What was the driver saying? What happened out there? Uh, the battery just went dead. We just hope we don't have a problem from here at the end of the race. I mean, hopefully it's got enough battery to run the engine. There you have it. Battery problem. They got it back out there. Fingers crossed. So that's through the box. That looked a lot cleaner. We'll see what race control says. Sam Mayer did not go further back. It's got everybody spread out. And it looks like that start is green and three wide per second behind them. Briefly, Carroll, Repco, and Pulliam, and here they fan out off turn four. If that voltage gets below, gets below a certain point, is this not common behavior? Yep, as soon as that battery gets too low to power the car, it'll start dropping cylinders, and you can see that he's getting absolutely destroyed down the straightaways. Um, White flag at a turn number four for Bobby McCarty. One final circuit separating McCarty and $10,000 here at Tri-County. Works his way out of turn number two. Out dueled Lee Pulliam for the win. And now Bobby McCarty will stroll into turns three and four. And the biggest win of his career, Bobby McCarty will win the Cars Response Energy Tour opener here at Tri-County. The Do the Do 150 goes to the driver from Virginia, 